Welcome to another session from LearnHowToReason.com. My name's Matt, and I want to talk about Pod Farm and the Line 6 amps that come in Reason 6 and above. You know, with Reason 6, we got the, the Line 6 guitar amp and bass amp devices. And the guitar amp comes with three guitar amps and cabinets, and the bass amp comes with two amps and cabinets and a ton of presets and you can make a lot of great tones with these amps and cabinets but you don't have to stop there you can use pod farm with reason the full-blown pod farm app will work in reason and you, you can record a dry track and a wet track and you can split the a and b channels on du dual tones if you'd like it's very, very simple, and it's integrated into Reason very well. There's just one thing you need to have, and that is you need to have a Line 6 interface. And this interface here comes with PodFarm 2.5, and the software alone, you know, PodFarm 2.5 costs $99 if you buy it by itself. But you can buy this interface for $99 and it comes with PodFarm 2.5. And what this does, it gives you tone direct monitoring and direct sends right into Reason where you can, you can choose between the A or the dry on either one of these or if it's a dual tone, you'll, you can choose between A or B. And it's pretty cool. And also what this allows you to do is open up all the amps. I have Pod Farm Platinum, so I have every amp that they have and all the bass amps. And of course, you can open up all the cabinets from within reason without ever opening up Pod Farm. And then from there, you can create dual three tones, five tones, whatever you want. You can um, tweak the amps any way you want and you can use your Reason devices and rack extension devices to affect your tone and it's pretty cool. So, but let's talk about using Pod Farm in Reason and one thing I'll show you, a little trick if you're using Pod Farm, have a little gap up here and then put it up there so when you click on Reason you can go right back to it easily. So let's make a guitar tone real quick and then let's save it as a preset. Real easy. So I'm going to use the Blackface. This is a Fender Twin Reverb is what it is. Um, let's get some dynamics in here. Uh, so like this, this compressor here. You can, this is a rack extension. You can buy this in the rack extension store and you could do exactly what I'm doing right from here using this. And you might have some issues with this though. This is the spring reverb. So you'd have to find a spring reverb that's close to this to get this tone without using Pod Farm. Or you can just record it directly into the track. And let me say this. For years and years, and even to this day, pro guitarists in the pro studios for the labels, they're recording using real amps and real effects, and they find their tone and they record it in. And they, they'll record a dry track, and you know what they'll do? They'll reamp, they'll go back out to the amp, through the effects, and to tape again. And, you know, that's the only drawback here with Pod Farm. But you can go back out to it if you, you know, you go back out to maybe a, a small mixer, go back into your Line 6 interface, you know, tweak your tone, and then record it in Reason. It's, it's doable. Uh, but for this, for right here, we'll just, um, let's get a tone here. Let's just back this up a little bit. Uh, maybe crank this up a bit. We'll go to our reverb and get this down a bit our amp 
turn the drive down a bit and Okay, so I like that. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to record this. So I got turn on my click and uh, let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so I just recorded that in and, you know, we could listen to the, uh, the drum track and we'll just use this one right here, close it. And, you know, it was that simple. We had a nice little tone and got the tone we wanted in, in Pod Farm. And now we have this. <laughs> Not the perfect uh, performance, but just to get my point across, you can use Pod Farm in reason and, you know, come up with the greatest tones. You could have, you know, 20 tracks here and you need a guitar tone and you just a solo, a rhythm track. You call up, you call up uh, Pod Farm and dial in a tone and lay the track down just like uh, the pros do. You know, they use real amps and they lay it down. And of course, if you want to record a dry track, you can. It's not hard. And then what, the only thing you're going to have to do is uh, use uh, your, your amps here in reason and call up the tones that you save. So let's save this tone. Let me show you how you can open it up, you know, in the reason line six devices. So I have this tone, I like it. I'm gonna save it as, I'm gonna call this Matt's uh, verb. And I'm gonna save it in my presets folder. And let me show you how to get that presets folder. If you go right here to your all where your presets are, you're gonna see a folder right here. Click on it and it will show you where the presets folder is on your hard drive. Go to that folder and make a folder inside that folder called My Presets or whatever you want to call it. And then anytime you make a preset, make sure to save it in that folder and then it will be easy to find. So we can get rid of this. And I can go here to My Tones, which are right here, and open it up. And what I'm going to do so I'm going to make a line six, line, six, uh, line six amp there. I'm going to go to the browser, and I have my presets here. I saved it as a favorite. So I go to my presets, open it up, and there's Matt's verb. And then I can uh, play it. That's simple. Now, let me, you can save dual tones too. And all you would do to save a dual tone so that you could open it up in uh, the reason, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so let's go here and type in dual tone, dual and
So we have a dual tone here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to remove the B tone. And I'm going to save this as A, the A tone. I'm going to go to my presets folder, my presets, and I'm going to save it. Dual Lux A, saved. So now, I'm going to go back to the dual Lux, open it back up. The dual Lux, and, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the tone A, and I'm going to save it as the B tone in my presets folder. And I can X out of line six. And okay, so I have a combinator here made and it's real simple and you can download it if you want. I'll have it there for you to download. It's real simple for dual tones. And it's basically just a uh, maximizer. I have an EQ and then I have a mixer with the, with the you know, basically what I'm doing is I'm coming out of the, the audio track, I'm going into the splitter, I'm going to the two amps, I'm going into the mixer, into the EQ, into the maximizer, you know, back up into the track and so I can get my effect. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna go to my presets and I'm gonna get my dual lux A. And this will be my open the browser. And this will be my dual lux B. And So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, you know, you can you can save, you know, dual tone presets or single tone presets, you know, from Podfarm. You can record directly from Podfarm into Reason and you can open up all your amps that you have with the the version of Podfarm that you buy right here in your Line 6 devices. And then you can affect them with your Reason devices and Rack Extension devices. And you can really come up with some great tones with uh, this combination with the Line 6 software. So, okay, so I, I hope that helps you guys out and clears up some things with Podfarm. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. You guys take care.